would you like to downsize this for performance? You want a rate of return on your share. That's what you want. But let me throw even a little more personal thing into it. Let's say that, that you're still an employee of that company, but you have 10,000 shares of that company in your 401k. How would you like to downsize that crew now? Performance. You're looking at rate of return. Correct? It really it matters. What really matters is how does it impact me? Okay, now forget everything I've just told you. Let's go to a football game. And we're in Monroe, Louisiana, so I'm assuming that the Saints are the team of choice down here. Is that right? Who knew that? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. It's Sunday afternoon. You and your child have scored the best tickets you've ever scored for a football game in your life. You're on the 45 yard line. You pay $250 to get the tickets. You bought matching Drew Brees sweatshirts. You've got uh, soda pops, hot dogs, popcorn, cotton candy. You're probably seven to eight hundred dollars into this playoff game, and you're excited. You're more than a fan. Right now, you're a customer. You are vested in this game. You are fired up. The game starts. It goes back and forth. Your heads are behind. Your heads are high. It goes back and forth the entire game. You're up and down, up and down, up and down, screaming and yelling. There's a minute left to go in the game. One minute, you're on your own 20-yard line. You're down by two points. You're driving, you're driving, you're driving, and you're screaming, get out of bounds, stop the clock, stop the clock! They do. There's three seconds left in the game. You're down by two points. You're on their 25-yard line. You're in the stand. You spent $700 to be at this game. Down by two. Three seconds left. You have three field goal kickers on your team. Who do you want kicking the ball? Seniority or performance? Seniority or performance? Performance. Who did you want on the field from the opening kickoff? Performance. You didn't care about seniority. Friends, team doesn't win, they don't have fame, they don't have customers, they don't have TV commercials, they don't have income, they don't have revenue. What's the difference in a company? None. There is no difference. We're all hindered sometimes by rules and regulations. That's why I call this the layoff prevention plan. Here is the layoff prevention plan. Do your job, do it well, do it to the best of your ability. those things. Do your job. Do it well. Do it to the best of your ability. And do it with a good attitude. Then you've taken care of all the things that are in your control to prevent you losing your job. There are some things I can't do anything about. I can't do anything about my date of birth. I couldn't do anything in Southwestern Bell about my date of hiring. My application date. My service date. Those are things I can't do anything about. But boy, I can do something about my attitude. There you have the layoff prevention policy. That's all you can do within that's within your power. Number 65. Y'all keeping up this number scheme, aren't you? <laughs> what you do means so much more than what you say. As a manager, as an HR person, as a mother or a father, what you do means so much more than what you say. I don't know if you've ever heard the old cliche. What you do is speaking so loudly, I cannot hear what you're saying. I've watched it with my kids, my grandkids. Um, they mock me. My, my, 
like that 